Hey guys, so today we're bringing a image into Inventor, tracing around it and creating a product from that, a 3D printed product from that. So we've started that up, starting a sketch. Um, I'm actually going to be making a um, emoji coaster. So for, for my product, so just making a circle, uh, 80 millimeters in diameter, um, and then I'm going to extrude that up 5 millimeters because hey, it's a coaster, so it's meant to be thin. Cool. Um, and then selecting my um, appropriate side there, which will let me because my face is in the way a little bit. But So sketching on that side there, go up to top right image. Uh, we then need to find the image, so, so it'll be in your folder somewhere. Um, there we go, there's mine. Open. Alright, so then placing that. And that's all I need. I just right clicked and then went OK there. So as you can see, it's not exactly in the right spot. It's also not exactly the right size. Um, so all I can do, trying to keep it nice and flat. So with your image, see, mine, mine's cir circular, right? So it doesn't matter if I kind of twist it around and stuff. No matter what, it's going to end up on the right um, plane for me. If I have a look here, oh, I've actually done pretty well there. So it's basically the right size, really. But see how I flipped it around. So the the image is actually sort of transparent. Is how the best way I describe it. Um, the program sees it as being transparent. Um, so that's pretty good. The other way you can also do that. So it'll show you how much you're missing. But I think I might bring this side down a little bit. Put that bring it down. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a better fit. All right. Cool. So now all I need to do now is actually trace around this. So like I said, transparent. So as I do this, you've got to keep in mind that um, it's not actually seeing the pictures being there. It's I, I'm seeing it as something I can um, trace around, um, but the program is not really seeing it. So I'm actually drawing directly onto these, well, the coaster that I've made. So that's how that works. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit here as well. I'm, I'm just going to be doing this in a way that I only have to do half and then I'll use the mirror tool and it'll mirror it for me because I mean why it's actually I don't think looks exactly symmetrical this picture um, I think it'll look quite good if it was exactly symmetrical so we'll give that a try because it's quite an organic shape so for me to try to get both these exactly the same would be uh, rather difficult um, so I thought okay, I'll do this, give it a mirror over and it'll be fine uh, I can't quite see that um, you can also see that depending on the quality of your picture I mean this, is, this isn't too bad a quality this picture but I mean it does when I zoom in to try to get things a little bit accurate it does go quite pixelated um, so to mirror remember just click on mirror and select what you want to mirror um, then you select your mirror line and then apply it, and it's all done. Alright, so you see, perfectly symmetrical there. I'll get rid of that. Um, so now here we go, so moment of truth, click on the picture, press delete, and there you go, so it's actually embedded onto, well not embedded, but drawn onto the face there. So then if I go 3D model extrude, clicking on all my different parts, um, and then I actually want to cut these out, so saving a little bit of material, instead of having them come up, I'll have them go down. Um, and that generally works well. So there we go. I reckon that looks pretty good. All right, fantastic. So what I'm also going to do now is just quickly convert it to a SDL file. So print, send 3D printing services, SDL file. Check your options. Make sure it's in millimeters, um, if that's what you're using, unless you're American. Okay. Um, and then saving that in Emoji Coaster. So print it. We'll go printable file. Fantastic. And that is how you do that. 